Hi, this is Charlie. Today I'm working on a, a mount for my iPad and my Zoom. I'm trying to make it to where I'm, what I'm using here is a paper holder from Office Depot. I'm going to modify it. I don't know exactly how yet. So far, I've bent that area here so that the iPad can kind of slide in there like this. I might cut it somewhere here, bend it over, and I use some of the Velcro to make a strap of some sort so I can hook it up behind the headrest. I, I want, I'm trying to make it to where both the tablet can fit in there really smoothly and probably something to hold it at the back to hold it in there nice and firm and then hook it up to the headrest and then we'll have the kids can watch movies at the back so I'm gonna see how we can get it to work so a paper holder that's about like three or four dollars at Office Depot or any of the um, office supply stores, you'll find that. And I get a Velcro. My ruler, my bender, and let's go to work and um, we'll see what the end result will be. Okay, I'm almost done with making the, the cradle. To put the to put. I decided to make it more to fit my my, uh, my iPad than my Zoom. Uh, I think the Zoom might fit on there, but because I'm thinking on the back seat on the headrest, that it's most likely gonna be for the kids, and my Zoom is not good at the back of the kids. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the iPad. So the way I did it. Again, I use a combination of Velcro. My best friend this week is Velcro. This one will, this this one will go over the top of the iPad or the the, the Zoom, and then I have the other ones there at the back, which will go at the back of the headrest of the vehicle. So all we're gonna do, uh, we take the iPad, we fix in there nicely and it just you just put the velcro across and it fits in there um the, the zoom because it has a like like that little hook like stuff at the back works great it, it, it really can really hook itself at the back here and I think once it's have a little incline, uh, I might get that to work there, but we'll see when we get when we get on the vehicle. But it might just work rear. It goes over there like this, and it. I'm gonna try, try and do that with one hand. I need to get a tripod, but this goes over here. And let's go to the back. And it will be something like this. Just like this. There we go. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out there and try it on the headrest of the car and see if it works. So here we are. We, are, we it's we have the like I said we have the um, iPad fit in there. It is. We have that strap made with velcro and I use a because the velcro have a sticky back I use a kind of like a two black material over the the sticky back to really cover that sticky part so it wouldn't stick onto the fabric or whatever um, my zoom most likely is not gonna be at the back of my truck with my kids hell to the no so it's gonna be right here I like my first video if you look when I made that my zoom is going to be at the front because of the navigation on there and everything. 
I have my hookup right here with my media link where I can hook up different stuff in there and I can put an audio jack my iPod hook up in there and I also have a RCA jacks this is this like we said in the last video can will go right in there so that's where that's gonna be the iPad is basically for the back so we're gonna fit this in at the back and we'll see how it works. so here it is the velcro goes around they'll be back there that's mostly for an adult I guess because it's kind of facing up um, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can put it down there for if the, if the kids are back there my daughter will gonna, gonna love that so we can adjust this strap from the front right here to bring to make it how we want it just strip adjust that's it to bring it down lower or higher and here we go and it's perfect it works it's worked good and um, I'm gonna try and see there we, go. there we go we have the iPad at the front the, the zoom at the front right here on it on, on its on its stand no right here and the iPad at the back uh, good okay go. so we just switched you now the Motorola at the back it works pretty good it, because of that hook like I said it hooks at the back and um, we don't have to use the the bottom pad because it, it hooks really nicely there and the iPad goes at the front so we can switch zoom at the back Motorola um, iPad at the front uh, I'm just gonna modify a few things to make sure it works properly and, and I mean it's working pretty good but I'm just like I just like to modify stuff I guess today's a good day to do that uh. hope you enjoyed this video enjoy